Hi, this is the demo video for my final year project. The content is about performance evaluation across fine-tuned models, which is the core of this project. ResNet 50 models from scratch, ImageNet, iNet 2021, and RadImageNet were fine-tuned in three different datasets. Now let me show you the learning curve from the fine-tuning process. This is the overview of all the learning curves, containing loss and accuracy computed during training and evaluation. Learning curves provide invaluable insights into a model's performance over time. They all finally converge without a significant decrease in validation performance, indicating relatively low bias and variance of the model during fine-tuning in target datasets. Now let's move on to the testing phase. Confusion matrices provide an intuitive visualization of a classifier's performance, with the main diagonal representing the number of instances correctly classified, which ideally should be heavily populated, indicating accurate predictions. The threshold is set to be 0.5, looking for the index of the class with the highest output probability. The ROC curve is a graphical representation that illustrates the diagnostic ability of a binary classifier system as its discrimination. Given that these three datasets necessitate multi-class classification, the ROC curve and the corresponding area under the curve, AUC, are computed for each distinct, mutually exclusive class. This approach provides an individual assessment of the classification model's performance for each class. Finally, a classification report is generated regarding evaluation metrics for comparison. Precision, recall, also called sensitivity, and F1 score are derived. Considering datasets are imbalanced, the weighted average for each evaluation metric is employed for performance comparison. In real-world clinical diagnosis, Instances of disease-free cases often significantly outnumber disease-positive ones. Therefore, it's essential to acknowledge and reward a model's ability to classify the majority of cases correctly as disease-free. Recently, I had my eyes examined, and fundus photos of my left and right eyes were taken. I took them as input for all the fine-tuned ResNet 50 models and summarized the results in the table. Diabetic retinopathy is caused by high blood sugar due to diabetes. However, I have neither diabetes mellitus nor high blood sugar, so my retina images are the perfect ground truth for disease-free cases, which is class 0. The classifying results are pretty satisfactory, indicating high specificity or true negative rate of all the models after transfer learning. Finally, we are now seeing the core of this project. After summarizing all the experiment data, here is the overall comparison. The results indicate ImageNet, iNaturalist 2021, and RadImageNet in descending model performance in all three datasets from small to large. 